things went wrong for you guys there tonight? Uh, I didn't like our uh, our uh, effort or focus, um, and it started early. And uh, I don't think we were prepared to, um, you know, uh, to get hit the way we did. I don't think the box score reflects it, you know, but um, we didn't meet the challenge. And how is Kyle doing? Is he going to be a next right? Uh, I, I know he'll be evaluated, but there, right now it's uh, just a contusion, and they think day to day. This is not a new problem. They're coming out. With kind of It's a good question. I mean, because we talk about it at length and, um, you know, we responded at times throughout the game, but, but to your point, the starts, it's, it's, it's inexcusable. Um, there's really no reason for it, but I think part of it is, uh, you know, our, our mental approach. You know, I think we had some success and that was great early, um, but that, that's over with. It's a new month. We got to continue to buckle down and, and understand what we're about to face. When something like this happens, can you? It's hard when you're in the moment. I understand, but do you sense it coming? Almost, can you tell like these guys are unfocused and shoot around, or something was off before the game? No, at times you can, and it, it it's addressed. And um, you know, it's it's something that we got to just stay on top of because if we're not prepared to play, we're not mentally um, in the right frame of mind. You know, oftentimes you you start the way we did. I want to ask you about Denny. It seems like he's often in the right place at the right time, and he kind of just misses some easy looks. What have you seen from him over the course of the early season? His defense has been great. I'll give him a lot of credit. I think um, uh, his one-on-one -on -one defense and his physicality, um, his ability to switch and guard and keep guys in front has been good for us. Why do you think he misses? He just misses bunnies sometimes. And things are well, a lot right of guys there. are missing. <laughs> yeah. So, I mean, I'm not going to pin it all on uh, Denny, but uh, – um, you know, we're having a hard time making shots. And that's where, you know, when you have those nights, you, you got to do something else to impact the game. You can't give up second chance points. You know, you, you have to be clean in, in your coverage. Um, but, you know, our overall execution w was bad. You know, we, we did generate some open looks, but we just didn't make them. Feels like shooting has been kind of a problem league wide, at least early on in the season. Is it, what do you think it is? The crowd, some people have suggested the ball or anything like that. Like, I can't, I have no idea. I mean, you know, I'm not a shooter, so <laughs> it could be a little bit of the, you know, the new ball. I don't know. Um, uh, it just could be just guys don't have a rhythm yet. Uh, and, and that takes time. I think some, you know, maybe the new rules I think are in effect. Maybe guys aren't getting to the line and not getting those easy points. And, you know, it's tough. Sometimes you don't see the ball go in, um, you know, early, you feel like you're just kind of constantly fighting to get one. Um, but I have no idea, really. I can't pinpoint one specific reason. Yeah, sure. How do you? In a case where, in Denny's case, for example, for a player who missed so much time, is it possible, or is it true in his case that it takes longer to get a rhythm offensively than it does defensively? Potentially, yeah. I mean, I think you know he missed the bulk of uh, you know our September workouts. Um, you know, most of training camp he was non-contact, so that of course can could play into the equation, but I'm not going to put it on that. You know, these guys work hard and they, they work on their craft and they just got to step up and make them. When you guys do have slow starts, how do you see that manifest on the floor? Like what kind of things like attention to details right, are missing? Oh, I just, you know, overall execution at times where guys aren't in the right spots, you know, it, it's stuff that we, we drill and we don't go out and execute it. So it's, it's a bit frustrating at times because, uh, you know, they know it in practice, but I mean, we, either it's not communicated on the floor or guys just aren't on the same page. What made you go away from Aaron after just five minutes? You know, it wasn't anything Aaron did. I thought, you know, the, the group we had out there was good. And Howell was giving us good minutes. Um, obviously, we're going to lean on Brad and Spencer, and, you know, as much as we can. Um, and then Denny. Denny played well. Uh, so he was kind of the odd man out, but there was no specific reason why, you know, uh, why he wouldn't play. And uh, Fred Van Vliet has uh, given this team some trouble over the years. What made him so tough tonight? Well, he's a good player. I mean, he, he can impact the game a lot of ways. He defends at a high level, um, you know, can make plays off the bounce, dynamic in pick and rolls. And, you know, if you're up the floor, he's going to make the right read and find the roller. And now their shooting spreads us out. If you're down the floor, he has the potential to pull it, uh, walk in to pull up threes. So um, he's a tough, he's a tough out. But, uh, you know, I, I thought overall, you know, that wasn't the issue. <laughs> I think it was, nah, I'm not taking anything away from the Raptors. They played a hell of a game. Um, it was us, and um, we didn't meet the challenge tonight.
you guys got it to, to six a few times and you never were able to crack that. What do you think kind of prevented? I mean, uh, they're a good defensive team. And, you know, that we had stretches where, you know, I thought we were going to make a push um, and we just could never get over the hump. You know, we, we would get a good look. Um, it, we'd miss and then turns into, you know, transition or free throws and kind of breaks the momentum. Um, and that's where we have to be cleaner um, to start. So now we're not, you know, fighting uphill the whole game. Uh, I think a little bit of everything. I mean, I think a lot of guys had a tough night tonight. Yeah. Wayne. Hey, coach. After the second time playing the Raptors, what did they do different this time compared to the first game of the season? Well, I thought their uh, physicality was, was was even greater. I mean, we we knew that's the, that's the way they play. They're handsy. Uh, they push you off your spots, and I thought we gave into it. Um, you know, we didn't meet meet that challenge very well. So it took us out of the offense, and uh, they denied us, um, and just kind of really disrupted any, any rhythm that we had. And coach, just like you said earlier, it's a long season. Don't get you high. Don't get you low. Um, coming into this next game, what are you looking for to hopefully be corrected by the time you uh, take the floor next time? I mean, you know, without watching the film, the first thing is our approach. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's it's just got to be a mentality, and we've talked about it at length internally. But um, we we have to understand we're not we're not good enough to just think we can turn it on, and it's it's been voiced quite often. Um, and that message obviously was not received tonight. Uh, Wes was saying just about your guys' approach there in the first, that something that you guys popped upon, but it's still there. I'm just, what are you seeing with that? What you say? <laughs> what are you seeing with your guys' slow starts, basically? Uh, first praise my Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Um, I don't know. I really can't pinpoint it. Um, there's just no excuse for it. Um, we're not a team that can just flip a light switch and think we're going to be good. We're, we're not that good, so. We have to get that out of our heads. Like we're not that type of team yet. So there's no reason why we, we shouldn't be ready to go. How does that kind of, you know, there's been a lot of change here and that's something that you've had to deal with out your career before, just slow starts. But like, how does that kind of manifest in a group that's kind of mostly new? Uh, I mean, the beauty about the NBA is you have another game in less than 24 hours sometimes. and. Granted, ours is 48 now. So, I mean, you just move on to the next day, next game, and you learn from them. That's what, that's all, that's what you have to do. Uh, be damned if we just continue to do the same thing, you know, over and over again, thinking we're going to change, you know. Uh, so, we just have to do self-evaluations, look ourselves in the mirror, and, and be ready. You know, there's nothing coach can say. There's nothing I can say to, that should get everybody ready. You know, we should be ready when we come in the gym. No, I mean, you obviously, I mean, we obviously still have our camaraderie. We still, you know, watch film. We still figure out ways to get better. You know, we still improve in those ways. But um, in terms of like effort, like you can't teach effort. You know, that's just, you know, you going out there and wanting to do it. Um, you know, so just those things like hustling, boxing out, like just the stuff that you, we can actually control. If we can control making shots, we'd make everyone, you know. Um, if we can control turnovers, we wouldn't turn them over. You know, some of them are in, in our control, some aren't. So you just take the punches that, you know, come with it and you just continue to get better. But if we're not learning from it, it does us no justice. So um, that's why I say you got to do some self-evaluation because we do it as a team. We watch film. We do everything we need to do. Um, you know, coach preaches to us. So it's just a matter of us, you know, collectively coming together and getting it done. Right, with the attention that Coach Kalani asked about it was a little bit of both. We always we always have a little intermission before coach comes and talks to us, and we 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 have our piece that we keep in the locker room. Uh, but I mean, it was along those lines for sure. I mean, we we know how we play, and if we play good, if we don't, you know, the coach just comes in and reemphasizes it. Uh, I think just the whole game, they were more physical than we were. You know, they were taking us out of actions. They were, you know, pushing off us, pushing us off our spots, just being more physical than we were, you know. Um, you know, they just, they kind of punched us first and they just kept punching. Granted, we went on our, our run and, and came back, I think, within four or five. Um, but 
down the stretch, we just couldn't get we just couldn't get our, our offense flowing. You know, we got too stagnant and we couldn't get stops. So we asked Coop at Shiver on just about offense being down across the league. Um what yeah. you you mentioned um, that not getting to the foul line, you just don't see the ball going to black and the further the top. What are, what are you seeing? Have you talked about it with guys on other teams and everything? Uh I haven't talked to many other guys, but I mean I'm definitely see it. I mean it Gives me a little peace knowing I ain't the only one out here struggling, you know. Uh, the whole league is struggling. So, uh, I mean, it's, it's an adjustment. I mean, you can – I think I've seen somebody blame the ball the other day. I mean, new systems, a lot of new teams, a lot of new everything. So, I mean, it's a, it's a lot of adjustments across the league for everybody. Uh, I mean, I don't know. It's not. It's really not one thing you could pinpoint, honestly. And, I mean, it could just be the way that, you know, the balls and the chips are falling this year, you know. So, it's just – I don't know. I don't know. Everybody just keeps pushing, and you know, hopefully, your guys can figure it or figure it out. The crowd is another theory. Like the, the return of fans has, like, has that. You know what? Honestly, uh, that definitely is a little different. Uh, I would say, from the standpoint of like our benching and spacing and depth perception, you know, we we used to didn't have fans under the basket necessarily. Now we have them back under the basket. We have more spacing on our sidelines. We don't have that anymore. So I mean, it's a little. Subtle stuff. I mean, you can say it's, it alters it or not, but I mean, definitely having fans and engaging is, it's definitely different too. Yeah. I mean, granted, we had it in the playoffs, but not full capacity, right? Wayne. Hey, Brad. Uh, pre-game, Coach Nurse talked about just packing the paint, giving you all different looks. Can you just talk about uh, the differences of how they played you this game compared to the first night of the season? Uh, coach Nurse is always a interesting coach. He always has some junkyard defense that he throws throws my way uh, and kind of makes it difficult. But he he's always you know switching up matchups on me. Uh, and then our team, like he just in terms of blitzing guys, not blitzing, changes their coverages up a lot. You know, and then he's he's very adamant on their defensive end. You know, they they preach that. So I mean, you just know whenever you play Toronto, they're gonna be physical. They have a lot of long, athletic wings. Uh, tall guys who can guard, um, you know, multiple positions. So uh, you just have to be ready for the physicality um, and take it to them first and, you know, try to create some separation because they're active long defenders. And uh, despite the loss, Brad, was there any positive that you liked from yourself tonight? <laughs> uh, I mean, just continue to find my rhythm from, I mean, just – just playing the game, you know, I'm just having fun. I mean, obviously, like we said, everybody's nobody's really playing extremely great or to the level that they want to. But I mean, I think Dame said it best the other day, you know, this is just a true test of your character and, you know, what you do um, in adverse times and when things don't necessarily go your way. You know, the real ones just continue to push through and, you know, figure it out. So I'm one of those and I'm, I know there's a lot more around the league, too. So uh, I'm I'm always my toughest critic. I, I have a lot of room to grow. I have a lot of room to get better at. Uh, you know, one stop turning the ball over, uh, getting better shots, and then knocking down shots. You know, so those things all come. You guys know me. Can I appreciate you, Brett? Can I follow up on that? Sorry, <laughs> sorry. Um, you mentioned kind of or getting to the line. You got to the line seven times, or not seven times, but seven times. And I know one of those is the three, but like, um, is, have you kind of found a way, you know, obviously the, the rules have changed. Have you find, have you adapted to that basically? Like, do you feel comfortable with, you didn't really hunt fouls necessarily before. But. Yeah. I mean, that's what's, that's what's mind boggling to me is that my percentages, my, well, my free throw attempts went down, but I'm not necessarily a guy who hunts out fouls or tries to draw fouls. Like I, I like to draw contact, you know, I like physicality. So, uh, it was a little, that's, Tough to grasp in some ways, but at the same time, I actually like it because they, hell, we file the hell out of some guys too, and they don't call it. So I, I can't, I can't be mad at it. Um, but at the same time, you know, a lot of scores around the league. That's how, that's how, like who said, you get a rhythm sometimes. You know, just seeing the ball go in, seeing some free throws go in, and, uh, but I mean, it's the rules. You know, I don't, I don't make them. I just buy a bomb. So I'm not mad at it. Well, Definitely. Um, we felt it from from the morning. Um, I feel like um, we didn't put our 100% in the game. 
uh, we try, I mean, we're not a, that good of a team to wait till the fourth quarter to turn, turn it on. And I think we need to start our work early because uh, people and especially teams, they're going to come at us and they're going to come at us fast. So I think we need to be ready bet to get ready better. I think uh, we need to be more focused coming into games. And um, it's another team, including me. And we we learn we learning from this, and I think we're gonna get better. I mean, it's a 82, uh, it's a 82 game season, and you can't get too low and you can't get too high. And so, you know, one we had a great start to the season. We lost a couple of games, but we're learning from it. So, that's good. Feel that focus slipping even in the morning in the morning and shoot around. What I guess is not happening during the day to kind of take things into focus even before the game. I mean, I feel like it's, I feel like it's also like people or team, our team, like it's individual, like everybody like needs to do the best to prepare himself. And I'm talking about the team, it's, it's including myself. Oh, so um, just to prepare himself, do what he needs to do, um, stick to his routine and just come ready for the game. And again, it's a long season and everybody needs to stick to his routine. And I think we're a great team. I think we're a great team when we focus and we're sharp. And you, you, you guys, you saw how we can play and what are we capable of. So I'm very positive about this team and I know we can do way better. That's why I'm, that's why I'm saying those things. Um, just about it. Seems like you've had some uh, tough luck so far this year on plays around the rim. Um, what do you think, uh, what adjustments do you think you need to make? I definitely, I'm, I'm definitely, um, I like a focus around the rim. Uh, this year didn't start that well. And I'm, I'm glad you, you said that. I just need to keep, keep playing through it. You know, I didn't play a long time. And, I'm, you know, my sharpness need to come back. This contact around the rim need, need to come back. I mean, and uh, I'm learning from it, definitely. I'm, I'm, I'm very hard on myself for missing those. I'm working on those. And, you know, it's a long season. And I'm, I'm, I'm for sure I know myself that it's not typical for me to do that. And um, get ready for it to fix in the future, so. You did have a, a big the third quarter. Uh, I think uh, Ty Kerr had nine points in that, in that third quarter. Um, what allowed you to get going in that? The exact reason you 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 told me about the um, not being focused around the rim. I just went to the locker room and um, I changed my approach. I don't know. I was like, all right, that's the time to make it up for it. Like, try to be more aggressive. Try to be more focused. You know, um, it's all in my it's all it's all in the head. So for me, just a change of approach and being more aggressive. So it was about it. I think it comes more with time and is when you're more mature and you have more experience in the league and on the court. Um, I guess you you can forgive yourself. But um, especially when, when you lose today and the game slip away like that, then you can you can you could have made those two free throws and you could have made those couple of layups. This is a big change in the game. Just those couple of points that it adds up. It adds up at the end, and that's why I'm that that's why it's like a little bit frustrated for me. But um, hopefully in the future I'll be more forgiven. Listen, I thought I'm a, I thought I, I'm still thinking I was a good defender even last year, but last year I didn't really get, uh, you know, the most respect, but, um, I'm just, it's, it's, it's my heart, you know, I'm not the most athletic, right? Like people, if you see people bring me in pick and roll all the time, think they can attack me, think they can score on me and, and, and it's fun. I'm taking it as a challenge. It's fun to see them like thinking, oh yeah. There he goes, slow feet, tall guy. I'm quicker than him, but it, it's not all about it. I'm, I mean, I'm fighting. I'm playing with my heart. I'm doing doing everything I can. I play 100% on every play on the court, and um, 
just take it as a challenge. When you say lack of respect, what do you mean by that? Like, did you see it like versus other teams? Or kind of, how did... I don't want to. I don't want to really get into it. I think you know what I'm talking about. Uh, all the foul situation last year, but we're over it now. I think um, I'm slowly building my. Uh, um, how you say it? My reputation as a, as a defender, and um, I think they just we start to understand it. So. Definitely, I think um, I uh, I gained a lot of strength, especially working on my body, uh, which I couldn't like really do because I didn't really I uh, wasn't really able to um, stand up and shoot and, and really play basketball. So I really focused on like uh, working on my body. I'm still trying to lose a little bit uh, more weight and be more lighter. Um, I feel like that's a big part uh, that I want to change, but. Um, I'm very disciplined, and I'm I'm uh, on my way to accomplish my goal. Coach was talking about you know he really likes your on-ball defense. The next step will be okay, you know when help comes or when you have to react to something different. How is that you know evolution of your game developing, um, and where do you see you can improve in that aspect? Off ball. Yeah, when you have to rotate and play help defense and things shift and change. I mean, I mean, as coach said, um, I have a couple of um, mistakes that I do off ball sometimes. I think uh, we should, I should watch film and really talk with, to, talk to the coaches. We have a great uh, coaching staff that really knows um, how to see mistakes and really correct them. And be sure that um, I'm going to watch the film um, and I'm going to fix it. So um, it's on me. I make those mistakes sometimes and going to fix them. So that's about it. Do you think it's more so just adjusting to coach Unsell system or just adjusting to NBA in general or all of the above? No, there is no excuse for that. Make mistakes and you need to um, learn from them. Whatever coach and whatever system you in. So that's about it. I think I got a, you know, right open layup at the beginning that kind of got me going and then um, I just I knew I was I have to be aggressive the way they play. Um, they they help from the strong side and they always leave somebody open and like they're always crumbling and hold, rotating. And uh, I knew I had to be aggressive. Um, you know, I've made a couple plays. Um, they were kind of doubling on bread. So I knew that the ball was going to be on my hands a little more. So I think uh, I just stay aggressive and and you know, the ball, the ball falling. So, yeah. Um, you know, they play really hard. They're, they're always uh, trying to kind of, I wouldn't say gamble, but, you know, like steal and uh, deny the pass and play fast. Um, they have a really uh, tall lineup that kind of we struggle playing against them. Uh, they got a lot of offensive rebounds and um, I think they had a chip on their shoulders from the first game and they, you know, they just play harder than us. Um, um, but yeah, they, they did a good job. You guys, you guys had a couple of good stretches late and you had it really close in the fourth quarter, but when um it's hard when you're playing the whole game uh behind on the score i think uh um they did a good job like you say controlling the pace and um every time we get close five six points they would uh, uh execute an offense and get a bucket or get uh, offensive rebound and just like things that it was hard for us to, uh, you know, keep with the, with the good stretch. You know, they're always going to, they're always cutting our stretch with a uh, right open three or Ben Flea hitting some uh, uh, fade away, you know, some tough shots, but um, it was a, a very hard game. we got to look what we did wrong and try to get better from that. When and 
I mean, he tells us it straight up, you know, we're all, we know that um, that's something a coach has to do and he's doing a great job at, at, at uh, telling us what we got to do better, um, when we have to play harder, when we have to fix something on the core. I think uh, he's been there and he's been holding accountable. And, and uh, um, like I said, we have to, I'm pretty sure tomorrow he's going to come with uh, things that we got to improve and uh, we're going to go from there. When it comes to them like setting the tone, Wes and Brad said how special you guys were. Is that something that you feel like you guys have, for the most part, done a good job of this season? And it's it just a blip or and something you could consider a strength? Yeah, I think we started the season pretty well. I think uh, every game uh, we started that way. Um, I think besides Brooklyn early um, this season, but um, it's hard, you know, like when you play that way and we won a couple games and teams start looking at us and, and they prepare for us and it's not like they're coming here and, oh, we have the Wizards, you know, like we're just going to win easy. So they, they they come, like I say, with a chip in their shoulders, playing hard and um, and we got to just match that energy uh, from the beginning, you know, and today, unfortunately, we didn't. Um, but like I say, we... We're gonna learn from that and 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 try to get better. But it's definitely with the team we have. That's something we we gotta do every game. Uh, we have to step on the court, uh, ready to go from the beginning. Uh, bench guys gotta come in ready to go and and keep up the the energy, the whole game. Uh, I think we're not gonna come here and just wipe team ups and win every game by twenty. You know, we have to uh, learn how to play those games where. We're down, but we get close and finish the games and play till the end. I think, uh, um, like I said, we gonna we gonna fix that and get better. Neil. Hey, Hall. Well, obviously, you know, a lot of people have talked about Coach Brad. Everybody, okay, you can't just turn on the light switch. Coach said, you know, it's been addressed, and you know, for whatever reason, it just didn't, you know, happen tonight. What are the ways that you guys are trying to, you know, just self-police yourself and address this and prevent this from, you know, continuing further? Um, I think it's just being mentally ready for the game. We know how to play basketball. We show that we are a good team when we play together, when everybody know what they're doing, when we communicate on the court, when we play hard and uh, we, we know we can um, win games, you know? So I think it's just being mentally ready. Um, those things happen like basketball. You're not going to play uh, good every game. You're not going to make every shot. Um, but I think the energy and, and the uh, our being ready has to be there every game. And um, I'm pretty sure that that's not going to gonna be something that we're going to be talking a lot because we, um, we're definitely going to talk about it tomorrow. We talked a little bit in the locker room, and we have to come ready to play every game. Thanks, Howell. Thank you. Last question to Wayne. You know, um, Coach kind of alluded to say, he said credit to the Raptors, but I feel like he felt like you all could win this game. Um, was there anything different they gave you all this, this game compared to the first game you played, or was it more just, I guess, not more making sure players on your end? Uh, they're a good team. Um, they played great the last couple games. Uh, we knew that. Uh, we knew that they – like every team from the beginning of the season till now, they figure things out, you know, they change rotation, they uh, do things to get better, uh, just like every team. And uh, they did play well tonight, um, but also we didn't play great. So I don't, I wouldn't say that uh, we should have won or I'm not taking the credit out of, of their team, but uh, we could definitely have done better um, in, um, definitely it will be something we're going to talk about it and, and try to uh, be more ready for next game. Also, you had a really good night tonight. Can you just talk about what felt good? Um, like you said, you said staying ready, coming off the bench. What just felt good about your game tonight? Um, I think it's just, you know, um, knowing that after some not as great games, you always going to, um, have to be aggressive and, and stay positive. And that's what I did. You know, uh, um, like I said at the beginning, I knew that the way they were going to play, um, trapping uh, Bradley Bill and trying to get the ball out of his hands, the ball will be on the other guys. And I just took advantage of that, try to stay aggressive, try to uh, uh, take the open shots and, and stay confident. I think uh, um, 
that's what I did. And, and I know that not every game is going to be perfect. Um, and, uh, you know, that's, I think, what helped me at the beginning of the game.